Hello friends, in today's video we will discuss supply and connection for various transmitters like pressure transmitter, level transmitter, flow transmitter and temperature transmitter. We will discuss connections at field side and also at PLC panel side. So don't skip the video, let's start it. First we will discuss how to recognize that the supply is provided to transmitter. You must know that the supply is being given to the transmitter or not. Suppose we are not giving supply to the transmitter, then what will happen? Then it will be off. In the image, transmitter is shown and in the square box, its display is shown. You can see the display is off. Its display will be off when the supply is not given to the transmitter. If the supply is given to the transmitter, its display will be on. You can better understand by the right image and the left image. The display is on here. For example, when we give supply to a bulb, it becomes on. Similarly, transmitter is on by giving the supply. Now we will see from where the supply is given to the transmitter and it is shown by the arrow. This is the port from where the supply is provided or feed to transmitter. Now here one question is for you. Transmitter supply is 2 wire supply or 4 wire supply? Pause the video and answer this question if you know. Now the question arises, which supply is required for a transmitter? Many people have a doubt regarding its supply, whether it is AC supply or DC supply. Your all the doubts will be clear today. Come to the next slide. The supply for the transmitter is DC supply. Now we will see how much DC supply is required for transmitter. The supply for transmitter is 24 volts DC supply. So note it down or take a screenshot. AC supply is not given to transmitter. It is very important for interviews. Now we will see from where this supply is feed or provided. The supply for the transmitter is given by PLC panel. In PLC DCS panel, a SMPS is used to provide 24 volts DC supply for the transmitter. The full form of SMPS is switched mode power supply. SMPS converts 220 volts AC supply to 24 volts DC supply. The lower side arrow shows the input means AC supply terminals. And upper side arrow shows the output means DC supply terminals and this DC is 24 volts DC. Now we will discuss how to connect transmitter wires at PLC panel side. It is very important. You must know about this. Image shows the backside TB of a PLC panel. Arrow shows the connection terminal for 24 volts DC supply that is coming from SMPS. A black color strip is used. At the other side of TV, many connections are there and these are the transmitter's connection. When 24 volts DC supply is provided, all the transmitters connected in front of this black color strip will be on. The positive terminals of transmitters will be connected in front of the black strip terminals and 24 volts DC supply will reach at transmitters. Now we will discuss transmitter side connection and it is very important for you guys. 
first we will open the back cover of transmitter by rotating it anti clockwise and the back cover is shown by the arrow and with the help of circle now the pair cable or any other cable we are using for the transmitter is inserted by the port and the port is shown by the arrow transmitter has three terminals first one is positive and here it is second is negative and the third one is test terminal let me explain more about it positive and negative terminals are for supply and these are shown by the circle now we will discuss the use of test terminal you must know about it test terminal is used for the testing purpose of the transmitter since it is used for testing purpose only so no connection is done at test terminal you can see by the image that no connection is made at test terminal connections are only at positive and negative terminals suppose these wires are coming from plc panel so these wires will be connected at positive and negative terminals you can also see this in the image the color of these wire may be different but remember one point positive wire from plc dcs panel side must be connected at transmitter positive terminal Twenty four volts DC supply wire is connected at the positive terminal of the transmitter. You can see this by the arrow. I think it is clear to you. And the second wire will be connected at the negative terminal. Now let's see where shielded wire is connected. It is also very important. whether shielded wire is connected at positive terminal negative terminal or at test terminal let's see in this image shielded wire is shown by the circle and this shielded wire is connected at the ground terminal and the ground terminal is shown by arrow red arrow here shielded wire is connected here one point is also important for shielded wire that that its connection is optional we can connect it or we can cut it that's all for today so that was our video thanks for watching If you like the video do like subscribe and share it with your friends thanks for watching